Hi, this is Stovepipe from the Rusty BW, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the creative process that went into the uh, flashback bus. The bay window buses have a very particular look. They have these grills here that lets air into the motor, cool the motor. Whenever I see these, I see teeth. And so <laughs> when I painted this, uh, it's kind of a weird image. You have to kind of turn your head sideways and walk around. And then when people finally realize what it is, they like it. But when you first look at it, it kind of looks strange. So uh, on this side, I did my first horror movie. This is kind of a nod to my older brother, John. And of course, once you have teeth on one side of the bus, you have to have teeth on the other side of the bus. The biggest smile I could think of, which I couldn't fit a smile, so I made it a frown, was the Cheshire Cat from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Drew and I met, and some of my best friends still to this day, we met in junior high school, and we formed a little gang of nerds, and we called ourselves the Mad Hatter. So, of course, I had to have the Mad Hatter on the bus because uh, we still have our Mad Hatter tattoos. We all got Mad Hatter tattoos years ago. And uh, yes, my nickname was Riff Raff when I was in the Mad, <laughs> Mad Hatter. So I had to have, that's a nod to all my buddies I grew up with. There's two Oscars on this bus. I have three sons and my youngest son is named Oscar. It's hard to paint when you have a young child who's hyperactive jumping around. So Oscar was always on my mind. So over here, I had to put Oscar the Grouch because he was always angry. Where's dad at? He's out painting on the bus. He's grouchy Oscar, but then, it's also nice to be a father and uh, it's kind of an honor. And another day I thought, you know, I may never get an award, but I thought our bus could get an Oscar maybe because of the paint job on it. So I also put the Oscar statuette on here. This may be the only award I ever win, but at least I have it on here. I painted it myself. So I have my own Oscar. Now I have three Oscars, great. One of the things that kind of got lost in translation for us when we were putting the bus together was initially we were going to advertise our t-shirts. Every once in a while you'll see a random image on here that's actually one of our t-shirt designs. Return to Earth was one of our very first designs, still one of my absolute favorites. Survivor Bug, Piled High, which is another one of our t-shirt images. On the front, we have probably our most popular design, which is the, uh, the bus lineup, which is funny because most people don't see this, but it's still our most popular shirt. And I did the Rusty Bus lineup because it's our Rusty Bus. One of my favorite pieces, the piece of Sith, came up with this idea on the fly at a show. I was just doodling and everyone said, where's Star Wars gonna be on the bus? Well, not only did we put Star Wars, but put one of our Star Wars t-shirt images. Where else are you gonna see Darth Vader driving a bus? That's just awesome. And Yoda and a Beetle, I mean, come on. This is, that's, that is a great shirt. I don't care what anyone says. 